Hey guys, okay, I just finished Once Upon a Time, and before I start with my, pretty much my summary of my, you know, I, you know, what I thought of this episode, um, after this episode, which is the 12th episode of season 2, it's gonna be three weeks, three long weeks, show <laughs> the new episode premieres, so it's gonna um, premiere on February 10th, which I think is the same um, um, day that Walk the Walking Dead is gonna come back on, so that's gonna be awesome. So anyway, all right. Um, this episode is um, backstory is Victor Frankenstein, which is Doctor Whale, and Gerhard. And um, okay, pretty much what happens in this episode is we have um, okay, it's pretty much starts off where we left off last time. Hook shot Bell. Bell can doesn't know who the heck she is. Rumble still says like Bell, Bell, Bell. You know, try to help her. And we got, you know, the person. So we got the ambulance coming, got trying to calm Bell down. Um, they um bring Bell to the hospital, put in um she didn't really doesn't have any major injuries uh, except for the you know, the bullet to the head. Um, there's hook, he has since he was hit by the car, he has, you know, some he got some minor injuries, nothing too serious, but he has some broken ribs and stuff. Um, uh, I would have let pretty much let Robert Simpson kill him because he I mean you just took away Bell, you can't reverse once you go over that line. You cannot reverse that. You can't. So I'm like, I I would let Rumpel kill Hook, even though Hook is cute and sexy. Oh my God, I would have probably let kill him because he is he's teed off. I would be too. So and of course with Captain Hook, when um Emma comes to see him, he's constantly flirting, being seductive, talking about where's my Hook? Unless you want. To use a different part of my anatomy. I'm like, dude, really? Really? You're supposed to be, I'm supposed to hate you right now. I'm not supposed to be like, oh my god, hook. Oh my god. Okay, I'm supposed to be all blushing and stuff, okay? So anyway, so the, um, the, um, the person who was driving the car, he's from Pennsylvania. He has some serious internal bleeding. So they're like, okay, Dr. Wells going to have to operate on him. And Dr. Wells, like, is like pretty much freaking out. And we go into pretty much his backstory before he became, you know, he's, um, he's born, you know, Victor Frankenstein. Um, he, he had a brother. His brother was the youngest. Um, brother was part of the military. He was more of a scientist. Daddy, um, the dad, uh, pretty much was fun down his, um, you know, his science work and stuff. And then he went into, and he left his son as the physician in the, in the, um, arm, for son in the, um, army. And he was like, like, but, you know, I'm pretty much like, I'm a scientist and this is what I do, you know, and I'm showing real progress. And his dad is like, okay, is enough of that science crap. Go do something a real man would do go help people in war go 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 that, that's 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 my you know version of the um, competition and so you know he's all upset and stuff like that and pretty much um he ends up being visited by rumpa Simpson. the whole back um backstory is in black and white except for rumpa himself he was in who was in red and colorful so he ends up giving tell dr go that in this world you know magic is you know very you know it's not really, you know, it's more like, um, my freak compared to, you know, in the Enchanted Forest where it's like, woo, ah, you know. So he tells them that, you know, you do your thing, you know, do your science thing, teach it to me, and, uh, you know, and, you know, I'm going to pay for it, and, um, he's going to, you know, Trump still going to pretty much fund his, his, um, his experimentation, and he, like, throws, like, puts his big pot of freaking gold on, on onto the floor and like and he's just like this is a small pouch how did all that come out of there he's like uh 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 no you got a deal and you know we all know Robert Wilson loves deals and so um he decides um so he gets um I'm still in the backstory of um Dr. Wells slash Frank Stein he goes and enlists his brother's help his brother why they go dig up a body his brother ends up getting shot and, and killed so he had, so he drank so bring the body back and his brother ends up becoming his first pretty much you know attempt at bring somebody back to life dad comes down and like oh my god i saw you carrying the body in here well, let me see let me see find out is his baby son he's like oh my god what did you do what did you i'm like really it wasn't even his fault i mean dude you're just a terrible dad he's like i have no sons i'm like really dad just really hurt victor you just hurt his heart like that really you're a terrible father terrible so Victor ended up does bring his brother back to life, but as we've seen pre in the previous episode with Regina's um love, they yeah they come back, but they're more monster than you know human, and when they and they do they kind of you know you know kind of 
click on it, I was like, monster then. All of a sudden, like, no, no, Victor, Victor. And he's like, you know, slowly clicking in and out and stuff. So when he um shows the dad that he brought his um baby brother back to life, dad says that, oh, no, he's not, it's not your brother, it's a monster. And he's like pushing, you know, Victor just like pushing him. You know, nothing like serious. Just like, like you push somebody in they ch- at their chest, like, uh, uh, uh. The, the freaking, the brother's looking like, oh my god, and go, ah, 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 and pretty much beats him to death. So then, pretty much Victor has to lock him up, and he ends up having to re-kill kill his brother, because his brother, his brother is trying, is, you know, is trying to remain on to the little sanity that he, you know, to the little humanity that he has left. But he can't, because, you know, you done brought somebody back from the dead, you know, just, you know, they're not gonna function as they, they used to. So, you know, he pretty much has to end that person's life again. So he does it, and we see, and, and Dr. Well feels that, you know, he's known as Dr. Frankenstein. He's known for, you know, his, his pretty much his storyline. Everybody knows Frankenstein, you know, girl, guy, it's alive, you know, the whole boats and things. So he's, he's pretty much known for that. So he ends up having a talk with Ruby because he goes and try to drown himself at the pier. Ruby says, oh, I'm a wolf. I ate my boyfriend. And she says that even though they was put under this curse, it's, it's pretty much more like a blessing because their, you know, their past lives, they was able to forget them for a while, you know, under the curse and stuff. And it was to the, she sees this as a new chance to start over, which it is. You could look at it that way. I mean, you're in storybook. You're no longer in Channel Forest. You know, your past is your past. You have a future to look forward to now. So, you know, make the best of it. So Dr. Will goes back to the hospital and fix the man of his internal bleeding. Okay, um, and so, let's see who next. Oh, Rumpel's Joskin. <sighs> oh, I feel so bad for Rumpel, it's ridiculous. I'm like, no. Anyway, since Belle no longer has a memory, Rumpel was pretty much trying to get her to remember. While she was sleeping, he tried, you know, the whole true love kiss thing. Didn't work, because she freaked out when she woke up. Like, oh my God, who are you? He's like, I'm sorry. So I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God, this it was, it was like so nerve-wracking for me. So then he brought her the chip cup that she, you know, that she broke and had a little chip in it, you know, a hint to chip from Beauty and the Beast. So he brings it to her, he's like, he enchanted it, so if she focused on it, she was try, probably, you know, pretty much jog her memory. And she gets upset and be like, leave me alone, and she pretty much throws it at the freaking wall and breaks it. I'm like, oh my god, this is too much for me. Oh my god, Belle, please remember, Rumpel can't take it anymore. So, Corey ends up giving him this, like, um... I wouldn't really say clear ball, but it's a pretty much a, you know a ball apparently. And what he does is he pricks his finger on on the on the, the tip of it, and you know lets the blood hit the globe, and it forms a pretty much the globe of the world, and it pretty much is gonna track his son. And his son is in uh the, the child in America. That's what it's for. <laughs> Put it to you for that one. So you know, I'm going to um, Emma Swan and them. And, uh, you know, Emma Swan, Charming, Snow, Henry, he says, um, Emma, uh, Swan, uh, you gonna come with me and we're gonna look for my son. And so Rumpus is just like this. Rumpus is, like, so serious. I do not blame him. He's like, look, I'm gonna go find my son. You owe me a deal. Just, you know, you owe me a favor. And he says, if anything happens to Belle while I'm gone, like, you know, she that somebody kills or something, he said, he said, I'm gonna kill everybody. <laughs> I'm like, dang, he is, he is ticked off. He said he gonna come back and kill everybody. If Belle, if Belle harmed in the well, she just died. Everybody in Sorbuck is dead meat. That's all you need to know. As Rumpel Siskin fight, he's like, everybody's dead. He don't care. He don't care if even as Henry, a kid. He don't care. Uh, everybody dead. Everybody. Anyway, back to, um, and uh, that was pretty much Rumpel's story. Uh, Cora, oh my God, I swear, she is the worst mother of the year. She then took everything away from Regina. Then she makes herself appear as freaking Henry and goes down to the thing. Hey, Regina really thinks it's Henry. Turns out it's really core. I'm like, oh my God, you woman, that is so low. Why would you do that? And she then goes and confesses, like, you know, when you came to me and you thought I was dead and you said that you're doing this because you love me. And she's like, I want to win you back. And Regina's like, no, we're going to go to the city, uh, you know, go to the thing, you know, back to everybody. And, sh- and, sh- and you want to tell them that you did it and, you know, I didn't do it because, you know, you didn't pretty much got everybody. You know, hey, no, though, because, you know, she's a whole evil queen, but, you know, Regina really wasn't like that. If you know, if you watch, you know, season one and, you know, pretty much all the majority of season two, you realize she was pretty much turned that way because her mother. Her mother pretty much conditioned her own ch- daughter to be th- that that evil like that. It's ridiculous. And so she, um, and she just being messy. 
by usual she, she has um you know how kids made the little handprint thing and it was henry's little handprint and it says for mommy's for virginia she pulls it out it's about oh look how cute it is just you know just being messy like she normally does and you know she asks uh her, um colors of daughter so like are we gonna get um we're gonna get henry back for you and stuff and virginia's like how and she's like well i have a few ideas so i'm like oh my god this is not gonna be good this is not gonna be good oh my god so Back to the mysterious person. Um, his name is um, Mendez. That's how I can remember his last name. Um, she, you know, they want to know if did he see anything? Cause when he came in, Rumble still was by the pretty much gross Captain Hook. And so he tells Emma when she goes to interrogate him that he didn't see anything. At the end of the episode, he's calling his wife and he's like, "Honey, you're not gonna believe what I saw." In in other words, he saw Rumble Stilson conjure that ball of fire. He's lying. So I'm like, "Oh my god, this is not gonna be freaking good." He didn't saw it. I'm like, "Oh my god, what a freaking tourist coming and everything." I'm like, "Oh my god, oh my god, no!" So you know, all my mind is going crazy. Anyway, that's pretty much a good episode. The title of this twelfth episode of season two is called "In Name of a Brother." Backstory once again with Victor Frankenstein and Gerhardt. Um, the next episode, which will be three weeks away, I'm just like, oh my god, are you kidding me? Three weeks? I gotta wait three freaking weeks. I don't want to. I don't want to wait three weeks. No. Uh, it's called Tiny, and that one's gonna have the giant. Apparently, he got shrunk. And he sent the story book. Oh, and another thing is, um, Henry notices, um, when they're all at the table, um, Snow and, um, Charmy is fixing, you know, breakfast. Because they've been up all night. And he says, wait a minute. Because, you know, you know, we know he has a story book. So he's like, wait a minute. Frankenstein is it a fairy tale. So he's like, so he, so his pretty much his theory is, okay, the curse that Regina cast obviously didn't affect just the Enchanted Forest, but it must have affected other worlds as well. Because, you know, everybody knows Frankenstein is not an actual fairy tale character. It's written by Mary Shelley. So he's like, okay, what if this curse not only affected the Enchanted Forest, but other, you know, worlds as well. And as we know, Fred the Mad Hatter's hat. There is a door literally leading to different worlds, and we already seen Wonderland, where Cora became the Queen of Freaking Hearts. So it's like, okay, so obviously, the majority of the other worlds are affected, because I was thinking about that too, like, okay, this is a story, but this is a whole freaking town. Obviously, everybody here cannot be a fairy tale character, if so, that's a lot of freaking fairy tale characters. Plus, we also saw Mulan, that's, um, um, she's enchanted for, she's, you know, as, you know, um, we saw Arthurian, Arthurian legends with, you know, Lancelot, so obviously, yeah, there's a lot of more people most likely in, in this world that is affected and they say in the thing I'm reading on the um on this website it's called once upon a time once upon a time wiki.com you know the wiki things where you know each you know they you, you know I'm trying to figure out what the word for it but people go and you know put in information about characters and stuff update information about you know shows or good games or you know whatever you know piques your interest and it says that um in the series in the season we're supposed to be seeing you know soon um Aladdin and we know that's um that's another you know um it's supposed to say um the little mermaid and um who else and jafar which is from aladdin too so we're going to see you know a lot more characters because there's literally you know so many things that you know they could put into one percent time you know there's so many myths and legends and tales from all around the world all over you know various different cultures because i have a huge book of mythology and you, there is a lot they could put into once upon a time which I, is as long as they keep with their, their great story writing it's gonna be good i love the show i'm just mad i gotta wait three weeks three weeks what i'm supposed to through three weeks without once upon a time i'm already going freaking cuckoo okay i'm already going cuckoo shoot without the walking dead i can't take this i'll see you guys in three weeks <laughs> oh no Thank you.